Welcome to V Top 10 and today's video we're ranking Top 10, The Easton Assassin Greatest Knockouts. Number 10. Larry Holmes vs Michael Greer. On August 24, 1991, Holmes beat Michael Greer by KO at 118 in round 4 of 10 at Niles Blaisdell Arena Honolulu, Hawaii US. Number 9. Larry Holmes vs. Leroy Jones. On March 31, 1980, defending WBC heavyweight title Holmes beat Leroy Jones by TKO at 2.18 in round 8 of 15. We approach the end of round 2. Look at those lefts. Three. A question. Right there, Jones was hurt. And you still have yet to go to the belt. Good right by Holmes. Then a follow-up left and another good right. Larry going more to the uppercut now. Jones a wide open target. Jones ready, it seems, to go. A little bit wobbly, 20 seconds left in round eight. And Larry throwing everything he could into it. Give Jones credit for gameness. He tries to fight back, but his body is just falling into the corner directly above us. And they're stopping the fight. And it's a good thing that Richard Green did. Number eight, Larry Holmes versus Jerry Cooney. On June 11th, 1982, Defending WBC, and the ring heavyweight titles Holmes beat Jerry Cooney by TKO at 2.52 in round 13 of 15. Holmes dancing, lots of movement, a good blow by Holmes, a good right! A quick right by Holmes in the fight, second round. Holmes knocked Cooney, Dundee used to call Jerry a one-armed bandit, saying he can only fight with the left. Cooney, Cooney getting it now from Holmes! For a moment, looked like Jerry might go down. Holmes is really laying it all over. Crowd is getting its money's worth. <laughs> Could sense that he had heard, but there's Holmes with the right. Holmes looking for the, that's it. I was just about to say, looking for the opportunity. More than, oh, the right again, and Cooney's knees. Yes, no other way to put it. Now it's getting a little sloppy because both men are tired, and Holmes trying to tee off and doesn't have the strength left. I don't think tonight. Well, Jerry's ready to go. Valley is calling it off. Let the scene speak. Number 7. Larry Holmes vs. Lorenzo Zanin. On February 3, 1980, defending WBC heavyweight title Holmes beat Lorenzo Zanin by knockout at 239 in round 6 of 15. Good right lead by Holmes. There's the right, the right lead. One right lead. Did it. Isn't what it was in the first three rounds. Another right, and Zanon goes down. It's fourth round action, two knockdowns in the round. There's the right, Zanon's ready to go. But Holmes is not fighting a good fight tactically. There he goes from the right again. How quickly. This should go in. 
looked at his corner in perfect can. Number 6. Larry Holmes vs. Alfredo Evangelista. On November 10, 1978, defending WBC heavyweight title Holmes beat Alfredo Evangelista by knockout at 2.14 in round 7 of 15. Seconds of the third round, Kenny never looked better. Good, right up a cut. List has never been knocked out. Again, scoring effectively. Up a cut. And Holmes has used that effectively twice. He is not using himself up. He is staying flat footed again. We're underway. Don't forget tomorrow. Oh, a good right lead by Larry. Right now, Larry Holmes. Right. Larry going to the belly. Measure the man, and he is really trying hard to put him away. But he. Well, I think he. he got him. Larry got him right there. That should be the start of something big. Out, it's over. Uh, right, a flashing right, and look at Evangelista. So it happened in the seventh round. Number five, Larry Holmes versus Leon Spinks. On June 12, 1981, defending WBC and the ring heavyweight titles, Holmes beat Leon Spinks by TKO at 2:34 in round three of 15. of the New York was California. The referee keeps position well. Two good lefts in, even more than it does in the ring. Spinks can board Spinks. When he won easily, is 50 seconds left in advantage. Spinks had holes. Clearly rattled. Now to see Larry lose his cool. Oh, a good left to the belly. That against Spinks. Now he's fighting. He's really teeing off on him. As a measure, you see the left measuring him, then the right, and then the left. And Spinks is ready to go. The key to this, don't lose your head. Work the opponent. Don't try to put him away too soon. Leave yourself home. He is just killing him. And the fight is stopped. That's Number four. Larry Holmes versus Osio Casio. On March 23, 1979, defending WBC heavyweight title Holmes beat Tosio Casio by TKO at 2.38 in round 7 of 15. Crowd sometimes moving into a deeper crowd, the left of Holmes just got it because he is so unorthodox. <laughs> he has a tendency to drop it from time. Again the right, you see how Ocasio leaves himself open to the right? Ocasio with that flashing grip. See that right get in there? The victor, 20 KOs. A cut. Good left. Under Ali against right lead. Now, now Ocasio's hurt. He threw a right lead. This is what was discussed in the corner. Larry going down to the stomach. Hit him in his dressing room after the fight. There's that right uppercut. Epic. There, now Holmes is turning to the uppercut. To which Ocasio is particularly vulnerable with the head held forward. There's the left. There's the right. There's Ocasio fights on. Padilla says, okay. Ocasio, now there's the third knockdown. The chip fight. Padilla lets it go on. How much longer? That should go it. Stop. Padilla stops the fight. Finally. Number 3. Larry Holmes vs. Marvis Frazier. On November 25, 1983, defending the ring heavyweight title Holmes beat Marvis Frazier by TKO at 2.57 in round 1 of 15. Didn't have him down. Oh! The long right hand. This match that many people thought it was. Really putting Gun Frazier in trouble there. Will he get over this first round? The gun shield comes flying out. Bill Slane, the referee, hopefully giving him every chance, but it's all one way now, and he stopped it in the opening round. We just... Number 2. Larry Holmes versus Ernie Shavers. On September 28, 1979, 
defending WBC heavyweight title Holmes B. Turney Shavers by TKO at 2 o'clock in round 11 of 15. Number 1. Larry Holmes vs. Muhammad Ali. On October 2, 1980, defending WBC heavyweight title Holmes beat Muhammad Ali by TKO at 3 o'clock in round 10 of 15 and won vacant the ring heavyweight title. Number three, the heavyweight championship of the world. From Caesar's Palace in Las Vegas, Nevada, that's the end of round number seven. You get the idea that Muhammad Ali might explode at any time, too. You see it. it doesn't uh, seem that it's... Good right hand, the most solid right hand of the fight there. Take it on the chin of Muhammad Ali. Is Ali help? Can he be going down? How much more of this can he take? Really working over the body and the head of Ali. Ali taking a tremendous punch from the air. Here. You know, it's pathetic to see a guy just not be able to do it when he, he was well, as great as he once was. All I know is that he can, he'll handle it with class as he's always he's handled really it. He's really a classy hand. guy in every sense of the word. The man is standing there and taking his punches. He's taking his dues, but it's he, just the I same mean, he now. Could, he could lay down as soon as he found out that his arms weren't working. He's going to be staying there. <laughs> Angelo Dundee to wants to stop the fight. That's it. They stopped the fight at TKO. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.